Hey everybody, this is Kendall with BlackOvis.com. We are talking new product, the brand new Shimmick boot from Crispy. This is a pretty awesome uh, boot. I have got a little history on how it was created, why it was created. I want to go over the ingredients, so let's, uh, let's jump right in. I've got a couple other boots on the side. We've got Laponia, the ever popular, very famous Laponia right there. I rock that one on the regular, and we've got the Summit GTX. And the reason why I have brought both these in for a little bit of comparison is to give you some of the ingredients that exist in both of these boots can be found in the Shimmick. And there are some additional features here that we're gonna highlight. So starting out, the reason why Crispy built this boot is to highlight really a more mobile boot. If you look at the Crispy line, in the insulated category, there isn't anything that I would consider as mobile or even lighter weight or you know high movement. You've got the wild, well, basically you've got the Nevada Guide Hunter in the 200 gram, uh, which are great boots. And don't get me wrong, you certainly be fairly mobile in any of those boots. You then have the Guide, excuse me, the Wild Rock in a 400, the Wild Rock Plus in the 800, the Brickstall Pro, in the 200 and then the brick stall in the 200. So you've got a bunch of boots in the 200 gram. You only have a 400 gram in the Wild Rock and then you have the Wild Rock Plus in the 800 gram. Both the Wild Rock and Wild Rock Plus are a, 12, a, a 10 inch boot, fairly stiff, fairly rugged, certainly not something that if I'm hunting, for example, mm, let's say I'm Wyoming, uh, you know, out in the Wyoming or out in Nevada, later season kicking up chucker or i'm chasing antelope in kind of a little bit cooler temperature and i want to be very mobile in wyoming for example or let's say i'm out in the midwest doing a little tree stand hunting early season early ish or mid season like october and i don't really need to be in a 1200 gram lacrosse uh, or muck but i want to be something that's got insulation and i'm mobile or you're in the dakotas doing a lot of upland uh, Eastern Montana, all of those rationale, or even down in New Mexico, Arizona, let's say you're in Arizona hunting coos and it's cold in January, uh, meaning cold being in those early morning 30s, mid temperatures during the day, 50s, 60s, maybe. And you're gonna be sitting in glassing and quite frankly, you're gonna be cold when you're thinking Arizona, you're probably thinking 120 in Phoenix and hell no, I'm not gonna live there. But this boot would be well suited for any of those kind of materials. So Crispy wanted to build a boot that is more nimble, lighter weight, but still can accomplish all those things I've talked about. And I think even though it was designed, designed for the Midwest hunter and maybe the Eastern hunter, I think that there's going to be a ton of guys in the West that absolutely just flat out love this boot. And a couple reasons why. Number one, the... The Shemek is built on the same platform as the Laponia, the original, the OG Laponia, that didn't have the lacing down here in the bottom. So from a lacing standpoint, very uh, this is more the OG Laponia. This is the new Laponia that mimics the, the, the brick stall. Um, very similar performance. So the shaping is very similar to the Laponia, and it's built on this similar platform and build. So that, if, if you love the Laponia and you've been looking for something similar to take you later into the season, the Shimmick might be right up your alley. So a couple of the rationale there. From the midsole sole, the, the Shimmick introduces a, a different sole than the Laponia, which is the same build as the Summit. So if you're a, if you're a big fan of the Summit, and this is your early season go-to, this is your kind of light and fast category, even though it's not ultra light like like the uh, like the Laponia. This is a two. This is a three flex, but I really call this a two and a half flex. Two flex on the the Laponia, or one and a half to two, and the Shimmick is at a two flex. So you've got the same sole midsole as the Summit, similar build as the. Uh, Laponia as far as shaping goes. Now, when it comes to ingredients, the Shemek features a waxed Nubuck upper. Again, it's going to, that waxed element is going to shed off some of the, that moisture that are, would originally be soaked in to a leather like, like the Laponia has or a standard Nubuck that is not waxed like the Nevada Guide and Hunter series. So you're going to get a little bit better watershed. 
It will absorb over time uh, if leather dries out or gets really distressed. So that's where you're going to have to take care of this bad boy. Difference also here, you've got a tongue that's a leather tongue going up the shimmick. And you have this stretched nylon that you've got here, Cordura tongue that you have in the summit. So definitely trying to keep some warmth and, and uh, increase the warmth of this by having a little bit less breathability. 400 grams of gore insulation in this bad boy. And of course, waterproof with the gore, uh, waterproof membrane. One other major difference you've got on the Summit and on the Laponia, you've got a triple stitched polyurethane coated rub, uh, leather rand. So it's a leather base, goes all the way around. On the Shimmick, you've got a rubber rand similar to what you'd see on the Valdrez. Uh, in fact, this reminds me of the Valdrez because you've got this leather, polyurethane coated leather kick uh, rand piece on the heel and the rubber rand that goes around top of that, which, which mimics exactly like the, the Valdrez. And then the lacing, on the lacing for the, uh, for the Laponia, if you've used the Laponia before, it's got this optional lace loop right here, which most guys will engage and utilize. Lace uh, lock is here just below or right at the top of the, basically before the shaft of the boot. On the Shemek, it goes to the locking the lace loop is actually right here on the turn, which is similar to the Summit. And I think this one is a little bit higher quality than what you find on the Summit. The Summit is just maybe just a little bit lighter weight. Um, so a couple differences there. This Shemek is, is going to be a fantastic boot. It's, it comes in, like I said it before, at a, at a two flex. It's 1.5 pounds, where the Laponia is 1.2. So you're going to have a little bit heavier boot, but when you get into the, uh, like the guide in Nevada, you're looking closer, well, the Nevada, which would be comparable in height, you're looking closer to uh, like a two pound almost, or a 1.8. So uh, at a 200 gram Nevada, the Shemek is uh, lighter weight, more insulation. And then lastly, Price-wise, this comes in at 405 on blackovis.com. 415 is the price that Crispy runs. The Laponia comes in at 200, and the Summit comes in at at uh, 340. So certainly, our higher price, you're getting, I think, better performance ingredients for a, a later season with the rubber rand, the wax, the increased leather in the tongue. You're getting more insulation, which is that gore insulation. Uh, and you're having the uh, little bit beefed up sole from the uh, from the Laponia, same sole as the Summit. So that's where I would factor in that that price increase. I think if you're if you're a Midwest hunter, and this is you're looking for a boot where you're going to go, you want to be fairly nimble, still stable as you're climbing a uh, um, tree stand, you know, up into your tree stand, or you're an upland guy, and you want something that's going to provide warmth but not limit your mobility, the Shemek is your one and, one and done. And then you can add like a muck boot or a lacrosse Alpha Burley, which is what I run uh, in the late season. If you're a, a Western hunter and you're go to, you're an archer especially, and you're running these light and fast breathable boots and you want something that's got a little more beef ingredients and also some insulation, the Shemek could be that second go-to boot for you. And lastly, if you're an upland guy, in the West or in the Midwest, I really think this boot is something that you need to take a look at. So brand new from Crispy, 2023, the Shemek. Uh, fantastic boot, I'm really excited to run it. And I think you will be too if, if, if anything I've said today mixes in with the style of hunting that you're doing. Any questions about this boot or want to order one up, hit us up at blackobus.com. Leave a comment below if you've got some additional questions that you, you just want to answer here, and we'll definitely get into uh, answering those as soon as possible. So thanks so much. Have a rad day.